My brother and my sister, I, I want to remind you of the power of who you are in Christ Jesus. The devil's a liar. His purpose is to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants you to feel that you're unloved, that you're not accepted. He wants you to feel that everyone is against you. He wants you to fear success. He wants you to fear accomplishment. He wants to place a stumbling block in your way. But know that in Christ you can do all things because he will give you the strength. I just want to remind you that you are a child of God. You have been forgiven of all your sins and washed in the blood. And that's found in Hebrews 9 and 14. You are a new creation in Christ. That's found in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. You have been delivered from the power of Satan. You have been delivered from the power of darkness. And you have been translated into God's kingdom. You are a kingdom child. You are not the tail, but you are the head. You are above and not beneath. And that's found in Deuteronomy 28 and 13. You are the elect of God. I want you to remember that. God chose you. And that's found in Colossians 3 and 12. You have been set free by the blood of the Lamb. You are no longer in bondage. Thank you, Jesus. You are strong in the Lord. That's found in Ephesians 6 and 10. You are more than a conqueror. And when the enemy tries to come in as a flood, God will lift up a standard. He'll fight our battles. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, and that is found in Ephesians 1 and 13. God will, that's a promise, bless your going out and your coming in. You are reconciled now to the Father God. Praise the Lord. You are the salt of the earth. That is who you are. That is the power of who you are. You are the righteousness of God, and that's found in 2 Corinthians 5 and 21. We could be an overcomer. When the enemy comes in as a flood and tries to knock us down and make us feel defeated, we could let them know who we are in Jesus Christ. Because Christ overcame the world, we can overcome the world because he's in us. We can do all things in Christ. And that's in Philippians 4 and 13. You could walk by faith and not by what you see because we believe God. We are secure in him, and that's found in Romans 8 and 38. We belong to him. That's the power of who we are. We are the children of God. He's our refuge. He's our strength. He's our very present help in trouble. We can't ask for anything better than that. Praise the Lord. Now lift up your head and know who you are in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy, holy, holy is your name, and we praise you today. We thank you, dear God, for this beautiful opportunity to come to you, to the throne of grace, with all of our prayers, our needs, our supplications, our petitions. We thank you, dear God, for loving us and for giving your Son, Jesus, that all I have to do, all we have to do is just believe that he died for our sins and then we can ask him into our hearts and we can become a new creation in him. We thank you to God that old things are passed away and behold all things are new in our lives. We thank you to God for your love and for your compassion. We thank you for your care. We thank you for your protection, oh God. We thank you for the angels that are dispatched. Oh God, when we face life challenges, you promise to fight for us and we thank you. We thank you for who we are in Jesus Christ. We thank you, dear God, that we are the head and not the tail. Thank you, dear God, that we can come to you when we're feeling sad or depressed and Lord, that we can give all these 
things over to you and you promised, Lord, that you would give us beauty for our ashes, that the joy of the Lord would be our strength and that we could run this race and not be tired. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving us. Thank you, dear God, that we could have victory over sin, victory over depression, victory over defeat. We thank you, dear God, that we could have victory over the enemy that comes and tries to taunt us and discourage us. We thank you, dear Father, for who we are in Jesus Christ. We thank you for the mind of Christ. Thank you, dear God. Lord, we give everything over to you. We give you our hearts. We give you our mind. We give you our will. We submit our will to you, O oh God. Take us and build us up in you, dear God. Make us strong in you. Help us to know that you are our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. And even when of this world and life seems to be not going our way, but Father, we trust you and we have faith because we walk by faith and not by sight. We trust you and we stand on your promises. We believe your word. Thank you, dear God. Amen and amen. This is Robin from New Generation Christian Family Matters. If you need prayer, please call us. If you have something to say, I promise we'll listen.